What's up? It's Joe Pretty Cool 14 here, and welcome back to episode number nine of Joe Plays Minecraft. How are you all doing today? Uh, I am doing a little bit on the sick side, or I'm I'm a little sick today, um, but not too sick that I can't record a new video. So I uh, decided to do that anyway. So we're back in our humble little world here today, in our new house. And in between the two episodes, I have done a few things. I finally moved all of our stuff over to the new house, which means that we don't have to do that now on camera. And in addition to that, well, they need to be organized. But in addition to that, I have also created a new board of goals, a new to-do list for the series. And this to-do list is going to be updated fairly regularly, I would say. Um, it's going to be updated as we do things, and it's going to be updated whenever I come up with new ideas. And it'll be posted in game for all of us to see during the episodes. I do apologize if in this video I have to pause and uh, blow my nose or grab a drink because that's part of what being sick is. I was so sick that I didn't even go to school today. Anyways, what else have we done in the world since the last episode? Well, Jasper finally released version 2.0 of the new textures, which I actually haven't brought up in a video before, his new textures. And um, overall, I'm quite fond of them. So fond of them that I'm actually already using them as my uh, resource pack in-game for videos and just for playing. If you guys don't feel, don't agree with me, well then, let me know why in the comments, but chances are I'm going to keep using the pack. However, what I do do occasionally is I will actually remove textures if I don't feel that they're very good. For example, I did actually remove his potato texture because the baked potato texture looked like a hot dog. It was very weird and I didn't appreciate it too much. So I did delete his peanut textures just until he can get it right. But and I also did a few recenterings of textures because some of them for some reason he changed and then he didn't recenter them. For some reason like steak was like shifted all the way to the bottom and it it looked really weird. Anyway, we're going to sleep real quick and then we're going to go over our goals. Actually, let's not do that. We'll sleep after we do that. So far, I've got about four goals that I would like to accomplish within the next few episodes, or off camera if necessary. And as you can tell, one of those is they are explore the nether and find ourselves a fortress to uh, landscape the near area around our house, to start up an animal and crop farm, and to start a basic storage room underneath our new house, which would be this house right here. So we got four goals, and these are decent goals that require some effort, so I figured that we could start with those. And in this episode, I have a feeling I haven't really decided exactly which one I'm going to start with. I don't think I'm going to go to the nether, though. Um, I'm almost thinking that we might work on that storage room, because I think we need to do that before we do anything else. Things will get very chaotic very quickly if we don't plan for the future. Already, I've got two of my double chests completely jammed up. This one's already a third full. So, we do need to prepare and get that storage room um, working. So, as you can guess, we're going to be putting it underneath the house, as I said. We're going to be just making this underground room. Um, and actually, before I continue further, I'm going to grab some fence. And as I said, we are going to plan to build an animal farm. And I'm just going to trap this chicken, <laughs> just, so, just so we can have him there for the future. And we can plan for an advance. And then we'll be ready to uh, ready to do that. So that, that'll just make things a little convenient. Uh, why don't we just grab ourselves a fence gate. And then we'll get on our way with that. Alright. Hopefully he will stay. I need to grab some seeds though to trap him. Um, oh yes. I think if I recall correctly. I, I believe I died in the last episode. Yes, I did die in the last episode. I remember now. Uh, that was kind of unfortunate, wasn't it? Uh, we'll just... Yeah, I don't want to put him attached to the house. Come on, chicken. Come on. No. No. This way. Up the hill. There you go. Probably should have built this first. Oh, I didn't even notice that there. We'll just put him somewhere over here. And why don't we just build it right around him. He only needs a block. Oh, we'll make it a little bigger. I don't want to be too mean. <laughs> and uh, hopefully if we can find another chicken that comes along and walks by we can hopefully throw him in this pen. So that would be ideal. Uh, I, I, In my survival single player world that I don't use for the channel, I mentioned last time that I had some trouble, or I was I had animal farms, and I had some trouble getting those animals because some of them were 
I want to say almost a thousand blocks away and I had no lead so I really had to uh, work to get them there so might as well trap them if they're nearby I just noticed I don't have a shield so I'm gonna go grab one of those um, all right so this storage room we're going to just be building it directly under the house and because it'll be kind of like a basement we're gonna try and keep it to be the same dimensions as this house above which is the interior let's see a seven by five so that'll give us a decent amount of space for chests uh, I could put two on the edges and then I can have a single line maybe in the middle or I could just make some trap chests that works too um, but what we're gonna need is we're gonna need some ladders so we're gonna need some wood there's some ladders I don't remember why I have ladders actually <laughs> What was I using ladders for before? I can't even remember, honestly. Um, let's see. Oh, I just remembered that we have an enchantment table. We need to make an enchantment room. In fact, do I have a sign? Yes, I have plenty. Let's just throw that up there. Uh, create an enchantment area or room, I guess we'll call it. Create an enchantment room. Just, just kind of throw that on there before I forget. And that'll, that'll go somewhere un underneath this house as well. Um, so, I guess the first thing we obviously have to do is gonna is gonna be dig out the house. Now the question is, which side do we want this? I guess it doesn't really matter. I think we'll just put it over here. I, I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't make a difference. So we will go down. This will be the floor, and then this can be the start of the ceiling. But I'm actually gonna go two down because I might do like a fancy ceiling. So I might want that extra space. So the ceiling will go here, and then this will start to be the room. And we can make the room... Let's see, how high did I make the room up here? Oh dear. <laughs> let's see, can I get up there? Yes, I can. Let's see. Uh, I made it four high, so we'll go four high down there as well. I do have plenty of sticks I just found, so that takes something out of the way. There we go. Another thing I actually just remembered, I'm, I'm funnily enough, I'm remembering everything now, is that we need to actually make a strip mine. Um, and I know it seems redundant now that we've got some decent materials, but it is a pretty good way to get other stuff like stones, andesite, diorite, and all that. And speaking of, I just thought I'd point this out while I'm at it. They did redo the textures for andesite, diorite, and granite, and I must say, they're very interesting they are very interesting honestly I I can see that he went for a totally different look here and I'm actually kind of a fan of it honestly because it makes the textures feel a lot smoother I would say a lot smoother and they're actually kind of decent now they feel a lot more subtle like I was mining in the cave and the andesite just blends right in so I would call these an improvement, and even the, uh, the smooth variants are not too bad, so props to Jasper on that one for sure. Anyways, let's head down here, just plop that down, and I'm hearing some, uh, some, not animal, mob noises. I'm wondering if there's a cave nearby down here, it'd be interesting if we happen to find that. So I will cave this out. And I will be back in just a moment if something happens. Okay, so I have finished digging out the basement here. And as I said, it is 7x5x4. By five by five, four, four. <laughs> so this should give us a decent canvas to work with in terms of cosmetic design and chest space. And obviously, I mean, if I wanted this to be a basic chest space, all I would have done is dug that out and thrown the chest there. But of course, that's not what we do here. We do make, we do attempt at least to make the most basic structures look nice. So that is what we're going to be doing in this episode. And a couple things I did forget, or one thing I did forget to mention is that you're going to call me an idiot for this, but I forgot to allocate more RAM to Minecraft. And if you don't understand what that means, basically what that is, is I forgot I forgot to give let my computer run Minecraft with more with more RAM so it could actually run better so I've actually finally wised up and said oh yeah yeah you should do that so I, I, I allocated four gigabytes of RAM which is most most generally what people say should is recommended 
it's the recommended amount of dedicated wham to minecraft and i have 12 gigs of ram on my computer so that's not going to make it unstable so i'm actually fairly satisfied and i actually can play now on i can play like with 16 uh, um not frames per second 16 chunks um i'm gonna grab this chicken real quick bring him over uh, i can play with 16 frames per second when i'm not recording and when i'm recording all i need to do is just down it to 12 and i can keep all my f uh, fancy settings and it's pretty stable most of the time sometimes when like when you have this open plane it, it doesn't do as good but you know if, it, if it's got a limited render then it isn't too bad i don't know why i'm bringing him into my house let's try this this might be more effective no 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 hey 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 you guys come on come on guys come on in come on you can do it come on buddy come on Get in the get in the fence. Get in and trap trap trap. No, no. Come on. Come on you guys. Yes. All right. So, that's kind of good. We actually managed to um, get a couple chickens. So, that's kind of nice. That's one animal down. Um, another thing I was actually going to do is I was looking for pumpkins because I wanted to have wall lighting or possibly ceiling lighting, and then I realized that I don't actually have access to glowstone just yet. So, pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, that's, that's my best bet as of right now. So, we'll just start a quick farm for that, and hopefully we can get some jack-o'-lanterns. This, actually, you know what? That's interesting, though. The mobs aren't actually down here. Hmm. I'm going to have to cover this up. But yeah, playing with this improved allocation has been very nice, I must say, and I feel like an absolute idiot for not noticing it sooner. <laughs> so, oops, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get ourselves a quick pumpkin farm, and then we'll be on our way. If I can find our water bucket. We can just, uh, actually, uh, we could just pop it down down there, I suppose, can't we? Yeah. This is just temporary, so we could just throw it down there. That's fine. Um, we got this. So we'll just head down here. And throw this down. Well, make it into seeds, and then throw it down. Alright. And I will just check and see if I've got any bone meal. We can speed this process up a little bit. Too bad you can't bone meal the actual crop to give you stuff, but oh well, I guess that's a price we pay. It's kind of funny playing in this world though and realizing that I haven't actually done a lot. <laughs> I've I found diamonds, but that's pretty much about all I've done. As I was talking about in my previous episodes, it's kind of like, you know, why haven't you done anything, you know? You're just floundering around, you're not getting much done. So, I'm trying to get things done, even if they're just little things. So, now that we've got that, let's check our resources and see what we've got. We've got a piece of stone brick. That will really make things easy. All the, oh, we do have a lot of wood. Good. We have smooth stone. That's good. We got some more stone bricks and cobblestone. Good. Wood planks. More oak wood. I wonder if I should use... No, no. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it without the granite or the, those types. Um, I think that might be good for now. Yeah. Oh, I remember where that's from. It's from the village. Right. I'm, I completely forgot. No wonder I haven't made farms yet. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. Okay. So I think that's pretty good for now. We got a ton of torches. We got some other stuff. So I guess the first thing we'll do is why don't we start at the floor? So the chests are going to be all above the floor. We're not going to have any in the floor because I feel like that's... I don't know, it's counterintuitive. If I want to stack chests, I can't do that. I, I gotta find out where those... I think it's this way. I don't know, we'll figure it out later. Um, well, maybe not. Let's just, let me just see. Because it just seems so loud. Aha! There it is. Okay, so I did find it. Alright, well, I guess I better take care of this. Um, otherwise, it's gonna drive me nuts. Let's see here. Let's get us some light... That's, that was pretty close then, wasn't it? If I had just kept going, I probably would have met it. Maybe. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh dear. Uh-oh. 
Oh, we're in a bit of a sticky situation here. Oh dear, I hope my armor can hold. Oh dear, I know I'm spam clicking. That's not what you're supposed to do in this game. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> a little bit of a sticky situation here. <laughs> um. Oh dear. God. Oh dear, we got a lot of stuff up here. Oh dear, this is actually pretty bad. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Well. Wow. wow. That's that got chaotic fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. It wasn't. It wasn't kidding when it said there were like 30 entities over here. Whoa. <laughs> um. All right. We need to get ourselves a shield right now. That that'll that'll help ease the problem. We do have food, so we're good there for now. But oh dear. I was not expecting that many mobs. Wow. Yikes. Okay, so we got a shield at least. Um, let's take a little detour to the side. Maybe I can do some damage from here? Not do that. Alright, that's a creeper gone. This is pretty sketchy though, wow. Uh, okay, here come the skeletons. They can probably get me from here. Yes! Yes, do the battle yourselves. Don't make me work. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. <laughs> They're all fighting against each other. How perfect. How perfect. Lovely. All right. Now we should be manageable. I hope. <laughs> Here we go. Got an achievement or an advancement. I'll take that as well. Not today, thank you. Uh, looks like stuff exploded. We just got a couple spiders. And then we're uh, we're good to go here. That was actually pretty risky, and honestly, well, at first I was just concerned about falling down here into this little lava. But wow, <laughs> that that escalated very quickly. That did. <laughs> right, let's just get a little bit of this bastard so that I can go back to work in peace. There we go. All right, I'll come back down here later and resource harvest. Um, I think we'll be good with the light. As long as they don't spawn up here, then we're good. So why don't we just climb back up here. Um, pretend this didn't happen. Um, we'll just kind of block that in. Sure. Alright. That was lovely. Anyways, now that we've done that, let's actually start building. So to get this started, as I was saying, um, let's talk about the floor first. So I think the first thing... I think... Let's see we have a center here so that kind of allows us we can't really do like patterns in the center. well no that we can do patterns for the center maybe for the center we'll do like a special block i wonder wonder what kind of mineral blocks i have available um do i have oh i do have lapis i could do a nice lapis block um i could do a diamond block guys yeah let's use our diamonds i could do a gold block i think i'll do a gold block because i got enough there i can spare nine it's no big deal plus plus the gold block texture is actually phenomenal in this version i i'm sorry but all the people who don't like the new mineral textures i i can't agree like maybe maybe the old ones are maybe these are still bad but you cannot agree you cannot say that these are worse than the old ones like I, they're just not they're so much better this actually looks gold and the other one's like off yellow it, it's not good so we'll start with that as kind of our basis here and i was thinking we would do maybe we'll put we'll put stairs on the side that's for sure we need that to kind of outline this um some stairs in the middle and then we'll do that in stone brick maybe Let's just uh, let's grab this. I bet I left my crafting table down there, didn't I? Yep, I did. <sighs> Oops. I suppose we could have put a workbench there. That would have been more logical. We'll just put that there for now. Um, let's grab ourselves some stone brick stairs. Uh, we'll put them this way. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, so we've got a little basis. Um. Let's see, what else do we have at our disposal? We've got some logs, and we've got some planks. I only have oak, though. Um, I wonder if it would be interesting if I had, like, 
wood or logs come out from the center like this. That might be kind of interesting. Kind of form like this, I guess, cross in a way, um, in the center. <laughs> that's that's kind of nice. Um, and then what do we do for the sides? It's kind of an odd shape, three by two. Um, I guess this is the one downside to having this size shaped room because you're kind of restricted with what you can do. And I'm not talking about it because it's a small room, I'm more talking about just it's difficult to work with. Um, hmm. What can we possibly do with this? Well, we could be lazy and throw down a bunch of planks. No, I'm kidding. Um, oh, we could rotate some logs like this, which would further enhance the center. And then maybe on out the outside, maybe we just put down some oak planks. Ooh, ooh, you know. You know what? I think that's actually not too bad. Um, the only thing I just want to see, this might look kind of neat. Can I, can I put corner stairs? No, I don't, I was trying to do like, ah, oh man. Although that does raise, let me try one other thing here. Let me just try pushing these the other way, um, like this. Eh, no, not a fan of that one. Okay, I think we found a good floor design. I think it's kind of simple, but I do think it has some nice center point has a nice little feature of the gold block but I still think it looks kind of nice and then like I said that will allow us to do chest chest and then it will allow us to do a center thing although that's actually I do have one other idea ooh ooh you know what yes you know what I know this sounds like it's taking away space but in reality it really isn't because I wouldn't use all seven anyway so you know what? I like this. I'm gonna put these in the corner. This will this will add a little something. I do like this. Yes. Okay. So that takes care of those. Um, now the question is the walls. Let's start with or um, yeah, we'll do the walls next. Um, hmm. Well, we do we can't do a center thing because there's no center block. So that's kind of out of the question. That actually kind of is too bad too because I was gonna do something with lights. Hmm. I'll have to settle for something not in the very middle um although <laughs> i hate i hate to to do another although but this that might actually do good too hmm i'm actually a fan i'm a fan of that let's uh i need way more than that come on just do what you need to do make more make way more there you go need a lot of stairs for this well, a lot is relative. Then that'll kind of look interesting too with the ladder there. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's that's actually not too bad. So then the next thing we'll do here is why don't we just uh, carve out the walls here? Uh, let me block this in a little bit more. I really don't want this to be like interfering. So let's just let's just pretend that didn't happen. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, let's put that down. Um, how do we do this, I suppose? I was thinking the light go in the center. And honestly, that actually might be a good idea. Um, let's see how we can make this work. Um, I, I'll just have to use... I'll use the granite as a placeholder since I don't have the, uh, the pumpkins, obviously, to work with. So, we'll replace them later. But it'll do fine for now. So, the ladder side is different because we can't, obviously I can't have stairs where the ladders need to be. I don't even know if you could put the um, ladders on the pumpkins, but we'll try that anyway. Um, so maybe let's just put this here, here, and here for starters. Um, should we keep the ladder thing going? I don't know, I feel like we've, or the, not ladder, stair thing going? I feel like I've already used a lot of stairs. Um, what else can we possibly use? What if we used wood stairs? Hmm, that's an interesting proposition. Why don't we uh, Why don't we give that a shot? Let's not use that money though. Let's just test it on one. <laughs> oh wait, I'm so wait. No, you can't do that. You can't. 
I'm silly, you can't put stairs sideways like that. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, no, what I was planning on doing was just doing one like this. And then, oh dear, getting some lag spikes. Um, just doing them like that. And then maybe, I've already used a lot of that. I've already used a lot of the wood planks, or logs rather. Um, let's just try, what if we just coat it in a nice stone brick? Would that look good? That is the million dollar question of this episode. Will it look good? Um, actually that's not super bad. Uh, I can, I can live with that, honestly. I think that's pretty decent in my eyes. I think we'll go with that. We'll just keep this kind of simple. We don't need to overthink it that much. Plus I can always, oops, this is not supposed to be here. I can always come back and change it. And then for the side with the ladders, obviously, like I said, I can't put the stairs on the ladder. So why don't we, in just this case... Uh, we could probably just get away with not having a light there, and we'll just coat that whole side in uh, stone brick. Yeah. And we'll throw the ladder back down, and then we'll throw the stairs in. We gotta make some more stairs, of course. But boom, boom. And all right, you know we're we're actually getting a little bit of a decent room here. So then the last, last thing that we have to do, of course, is the ceiling. And thanks to my little crown molding trick, I actually have less ceiling now to cover, which is a little bit neat. So I'm thinking a, pr a fairly simple ceiling might be good. In fact, I'm considering just doing oak planks in there, nothing else. I'm, I'm kind of okay with this. I'm, I'm okay with that. And maybe, maybe I'll throw in another thing there. Just for, just for giggles. But, other than that, I think this is the room. Um, so then, the final thing I will do is I will go grab our pumpkins. Ooh, it is nighttime, let's just sleep. Gotta be safe, instead of sorry, of course. <laughs> let's head out here, we still don't have any pumpkins grown, no! Oh, no, how unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna just look around, see if I can find, like, a couple more, maybe, just so I can use... For a minute let's just go look all right everybody so I ended up having to wait actually for the pumpkins to grow I could not find any in the area so uh, <laughs> that's kind of too bad actually now what I just remembered no 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 we don't do that would we want the thing recessed I don't know but first let's make ourselves our four jack-o-lanterns one two three four I will admit that the texture for jack-o-lantern is a little bit weird but it's not like too bad well uh, do I like it recessed more or not particularly <laughs> although oh you know what actually we're gonna do that and the reason for that is because it actually gives us an interesting opportunity to put a chest here and I like that opportunity and then the final thing um, I think let's just take down the torches and we should have more than enough light down here yeah yeah you know what I'm impressed. I'm, I like this. I think we got a nice little room here. Yeah. Then the only thing is now we just got to figure out the layout of the chests. And we will do that in the uh, next episode, actually. So anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up episode number nine of Joe Plays Minecraft Season 3. I do thank you for watching this video and bearing with me during my illness. And just as a final comment, you might have noticed that I tried to be a little bit calmer in this episode with my voice and trying not to just co uh, constantly talk. And that's not really because of me being sick, it's actually what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to be a little bit less uh, overhyped when I'm recording. Just try and make it feel a little more natural. So that was kind of my test, that was my goal for this episode. And let me know how you guys feel about that. And I'll definitely be sure to read your comments, of course. And hopefully this series will continue, regardless of how I'm speaking. And hopefully we can start to punch out more of these goals. So anyways, guys, this is JoePico14 signing out, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.